Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about a very serious topic. Um, yeah, all I wanna say before we start is that each of these posts, I went and checked the person's page to see whether it was just like them shit posting or like putting historical stuff or whether they actually identify as Nazis and all the people I chose identify as Nazis, okay? So, so these are not people that are just like kidding around. Do they actually believe this shit, okay? However, before I get started, I do want to show this awesome fan art. I think this is so cute, honestly. I wish I looked exactly <laughs> like this. As always, link will be in the description. Thank you so much to everyone who has drawn me and just know that I will feature you. It just takes a while because I'm doing it in the order in which I've received it. So yeah, moving swiftly ahead. Let's look at the shit show. So firstly, there's a page dedicated to Nazis who like cats, which I thought was really weird. Um, but looking at serious posts, here we go. Here we have a picture of a Asian comic chick, and then it says, Juden, the end is nigh. More and more East Aryan women are waking up to the lies of the Jewish plague. Together, white men and East Aryan women will be the new master race dominating the earth. Sieg Heil. I mean, it's very clear where this person stands, but also, what the fuck? Keep calm and Sieg Heil. <sighs> the most ironic thing about all these keep calm and is that most people don't even know the history behind it. Do you guys know it? Okay, I'll just tell you. So, keep calm and carry on, that was a poster that was made by the British government during World War II. I think it was pretty, it was during appeasement, I'm pretty sure, when England was just trying to tell people, just stay chill, everything's fine. So the fact that it's been used, it's being used in that context is particularly disgusting to me. Um, I've always hated to keep calm and carry on shit just because it does come from World War II, so I'm always like, why are you recycling something that is a pretty dark part of history, if you ask me? I digress. Everything I find on the internet is a shit show. <clears throat> Here we have another one. When you get sent to Auschwitz, where children are executed on arrival, except you aren't executed on arrival for some reason, and then you get transferred to a second death camp, because apparently transfers between death camps was a thing, and then you get sick, so the Nazis put you in a hospital they built inside a death camp for the people they allegedly exterminating, then you die of typhus, but still get called a Holocaust victim because your daddy needs to use your diary to get shekels. I don't even know where to start with the problem of all of this. First of all, clearly this is coming from someone who is somewhat of a Holocaust denier because <laughs> you have proof that people died and we have proof that all of this happened. So when people try and act like the things that did happen didn't happen, it just makes me wonder what they think they're getting at because by ignoring facts, you're actually weakening your own argument, right? Because arguments should be built on facts. If you're trying to say that she didn't die and that all of this didn't really happen, it's just kind of like, what is the point of this? Especially the ending of saying like, oh, because your dad needs money from your diary. Like, that is so disgusting. Like, someone died here. Like, millions died, but in this specific case, we're talking about and Frank, and someone died and you're talking about the dad using her diary to get money? Like, what? <sighs> Young Aryan National Socialist having a bad day. Remember that Savitri Devi would love you like a grandma loves her grandchildren. <sighs> okay, so in case you don't know, Savitri Devi uh, was the pseudonym of the French Greek writer. Um, I'm reading this off uh, Wikipedia, and she was a prominent, a prominent proponent of deep ecology and Nazism. How that's so random, ecology and Nazism. Anyways, so you know on what side she would stand. So if you're having a bad day and you're a young Aryan, I guess think of her. I mean, I hope you're having a bad day. Anyways. Here we have another picture. So there's this whole blog that's dedicated to pictures of women who are Nazis and wearing Nazi kind of 
pro-Nazi apparel. I picked one where the face was already cut off so I wouldn't deal with any of that trash. And instead of just saying Heineken, her shirt says Heil Hitler. <sighs> Funny, I guess, except not at all and disgusting. Yeah, that one. Here we have another one. Uh, so it's toilet paper uh, and there's the hashtag saying all Jews must die. And this person, where can I buy this? You know what's really troubling though? That all of these come from different blogs um, and it was really easy to find them. So it's not like I scoured the internet to find the dark depths of where these Nazis are hiding. They're in plain sight. That's the craziest fucking part to me. Another one. Some colored pictures of mine, precious Fuhrer. So we know where she stands and the, the name of this blog is very, uh, is based on Hitler's lover. So yeah, I think this person is trying to live vicariously through the lover. I don't know, it's creepy. Oh, here I took the screenshot of one of the blogs I was looking at just to show you what they look like. And this one says, Hitler is my God, esoteric Hitlerist, whatever that means, national socialist, and this person is 21. Cool, you're on a great path. Here we have another one, and I thought this one was really weird. Um, and it's, a, it's like a picture of Hitler standing there, and the caption reads, this photo feels like you could reach out and touch him. And at first I was like, okay, that's weird, but I don't think it's, you know, necessarily pro him. It could just be like, it feels like he's really close to you. But then in the hashtags it says esoteric Hitlerism, what we saw in that other pro uh, Hitler page. So I was like, oh, so maybe this person is like, oh my God, it looks like you can touch him. I wish I could touch this guy who wanted to kill people. I don't know, this makes no sense to me, it really doesn't. As much as I try to understand, some shit is just batshit fucking crazy, and you know what, this is it. So here's another one, and it says, I'm assuming it means the Europe I want, and you can see the Nazi symbol in like six places, seven places, just like that. <sighs> this was deeply troubling. Um, you know, this was deeply troubling and honestly, I'm kind of shocked that people feel like they can so openly come out and say shit like this online. And you know, whether they have a VPN or not, online things can be traced, which is what is so wild to me because this kind of behavior is by no means acceptable and the fact that it's made so light of is what is weird to me, you know, like the keep calm, seek Heil, and I'm just like, why are you turning this into a joke? It's not a joke, especially because they believe it, but it's taken so lightly that it makes me wonder um, how in touch with reality these people are. Uh, either they're extremely jaded and fucking psychopathic that they don't care about what their message is saying, or hopefully, potentially, they don't understand what they're saying. Because if they don't understand what they're saying, there's still kind of a hope that they don't really mean what I think they mean, but I'm not defending these people whatsoever. It's just like, I can't believe this. I'm so fucking disgusted. And on that page with all the white nationalist girls, uh, holy shit, all of them were wearing shirts that like either said 88 or like, Sieg Heil, Hitler, like they were all very pro and there were so many different girls and I was like, what the fuck? So, I don't know, I'm kind of dumbfounded about all of this. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, yeah, the internet is a fucking dark place, you guys. And I know that this Tumblr series can be really dark, but this is stuff that we need to kind of talk about because this is not okay. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to go on rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.